you already know what it is. So what I'm about to do right now is check out this new amend to our small limited edition collection. In case you don't know, Anthony Muhammad, Aunt Moo, you know what I mean? Am early and the shooting the Belux cast. 11.59, man, this is what we do. Check this out. Check this out. Disc one, disc two, got five original tracks produced by myself, uh, and then all the other tracks are all tracks that we all collaborated with with the cast. It's all that we could recover. Everything recorded at Plan B Recordings. Um, this, this is like a two year old project, uh, excuse me, a 10 year old project. Um, and there's a lot of those that we have. Let's get down to it. All right. Ah. That's disc one. Ooh. That's disc two. Wee. Yo, look at that artwork though. I put a lot of work into that. So anyways, let's check out this man's six panel fold out. Oh shit, here we go, here we go. Of course, of course, while I'm while I'm trying to do something here. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Hey. There we go. An exclusive salvage of lost music. AM early, multi-flowing lyricist, a truly passionate recording artist with a story to tell. You're motherfucking right. Some of the credits, some more credits. Executive producer Anthony Muhammad. Um, all the photography, the actual photography is actually um, AM Early's own photography. So um, definitely want to credit him to that. There's credit in the in the in the actual album for him. Uh, special thanks to my children, Mary Jane, Ghost Riders, Black Ball Records, New Jersey Riot. Guap over sludge, GOS, that's Sam and Deuce. Uh, official hustlers, you know, Fly Society, you know, Young Live sells Bug 2 2 into the struggle. And of course, Plan B Recordings, LLC, Atlantic City. 11.59, y'all. So, uh, this is a very exclusive limited edition uh, project. Two disc set. I'm currently in Drosser Sound uh, 115 doing this real quick review. Um, I just got here, so I'm about to jump into this and, and just listen to it. It's the dopest shit. I mean, this guy, it, it, don't don't sleep. Uh, there's, a, there's talent all over Atlantic City, and you, I know you know that there's talent all over AC. Uh, but this, this is definitely the coolest. This is one of the coolest projects that we've ever had, you know. Almost everything we do is two disc. Um, if you're a producer and you make beats, um, one disc will be beats, the other disc will be a blank, and it's called a drosser pre, uh, pre prep. Uh, and what happens is on that blank disc, uh, artists either can record their lyrics, they can record the, the, the songs after they use the beats or whatever beats that they use. They could, um, and on the blank is actually designed for a cappellas, the actual tracks and uh and uh excuse me and production ready so that you can give it to a dj and perform live uh so that the, it's it's called a pre-prep because it's supposed to prepare and prep you 
for a, a live performance or any other performance. So, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's something that we give to artists that have no original beats. They can always contact us at, at, at New Jersey Riot or at Joshua Sound Lab, and we'll provide a customized album. A customized album. For example, So like Piggy Banks, Piggy Banks and the rest of the change. Disc one is all the beats. Disc two is a blank. It's a blank disc. So that whenever the, the it even says here, disc one instrumental demo. So that means that you know the artist can pick through whatever they want and they don't have to use everything and they can record over it. And when they're done recording over it, they have their own product. They have a silk screened, a pressed CD, uh, a blank pressed CDR that they can put their music on. And it's already, it doesn't, it's not a CDR with Sharpie marker, it's clean, it's presentable, you can give it to somebody. And who doesn't want their own shit to shine like that? Like, look at that silk screen finish. Anyways, Drosha Sound Lab is what we do. We're making records, we're making real records. Um, and if you like vinyl, we do that too. Anyway, AM early. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got a copy for you early. It's right here. I mean, some of the features, let me break it down real quick because there's copies for a few people that are featured on this. So, uh, track number seven, that's Do You Write? You remember that? That shit had two, two uh, cells. It had John Bravo, had Real Live, um, and of course, AM Early. We got Big Wass. Alright, alright. You got KMFR, Official Hustlers, you know, the uh, Kill My Fucking Radio track. That was, a, that was definitely an experimental track that we, we went in on that. Um, that, that, that's all, that, this is a salvage, you know, there's a lot of people on here that just, we, that were around, you know, they were around then, and, and, you know, 10 years ago, when we were doing this, we never imagined this being a thing, we never imagined this going anywhere, or being somewhere, this is, for me, is nostalgic, because I, I dedicated the time to, um, all of these artists, to, without a plan at the time to do this but we we were having fun we were doing our thing and that was the most prime of our creative abilities it was then when it was fresh and it was new and this is 10 years ago so thanks for bearing with me work with it